Stefan, I know that you're one of the first to find out that it was coming back. Mm. How hard was that to keep it a secret from everyone? Oh. Because <laughs> well, I found out before him. Um, it was really hard because we found out on the Friday morning, I think it was. I thought it was a Sunday. That's how early in the morning it was. Um, and Jason said, uh, I'm, no, I'm telling you four, as in myself, Fletch, Jackie and Ryan, um, but I'm not getting to the others until probably a, uh, another day or two. And he said, so... And, one of the hardest things we've ever done, yeah. trying to keep that a secret, because the, the, we've got a uh, a neighbour's chat line, but just for the cast, yeah, into the chat line, so to speak, and it started buzzing, like yeah. th with a rumour. It wasn't even. It was like, hang on, this is a little bit coincidental, and I think it was Charlotte started. Yeah, she said, did. What's this about neighbours? This yeah. this being an announcement about neighbours, a big announcement. Yeah. Um, oh, maybe they're going to say that they're going to start rerunning old shows or something. And Everyone was speculating. It just started popping off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just like, uh, oh, maybe it's it. Maybe it's it. Maybe then everybody just speculating. But yeah, so we we four had to just keep completely stum. Does it feel different? I know you've been back a few months now, but does it feel different? Because there are there's new cast members, there's new mm. crew. Like, how different does it feel to? And it's Amazon, of course, this time. So, how different does it feel coming back? It's it's kind of. I, I always use the expression same same but different. Um, so it is same, same in as much as same building, same show, same, uh, predominantly the same amount of uh, actors. Uh, we've had probably a 40% uh, a new, new cast. Uh, percentage of new cast. Yeah. Um, and, and crew as well. And crew, yeah, yeah, a much bigger percentage of new crew, about 50, well, no, probably more than that, 60, 70%. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, so there were a whole bunch of new faces. Um, it was Amazon yeah. doing, uh, I mean, Fremantle is still calling the shots, obviously, because they produce it. Um, but, you know, with a, a much stronger input from Amazon yeah. now rather than Channel 5 and Channel 10, well, Channel 10 are still in there. But she yeah. did say that you two normally get up to a lot of mischief. Who? You, oh, you're, too. you're yeah. a Becca. Beck. Yeah. Oh, shocking. Terrible. They're diabolical. <laughs> Are they? The yeah. What are they like? <laughs> it's hilarious to watch. Yeah. No, it's yeah, really entertaining. Are they all pranksters? <laughs> what do they do? Oh, all of the above. You have no <laughs> idea what you're going to get or how long it's going to take. Yeah. Yeah. And if it's Beck, it's usually loud. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how far ahead do you know your story? Like, like up and like how? Uh, at the moment, well, storylines, we, we can find out, Okay. Uh, you know, maybe a couple of months ahead, but, but that yeah. requires us going down and speaking to the storyliners. Um, as far as getting synopsis and or scripts, um, we only get those probably at the moment, two, weeks. two weeks out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's exciting. Um, how is it, because obviously there is this time jump of two years, so the kids are all older. Yes, What's it yeah. been like having all these older kids, toddlers, all sorts on set? Oh, it's been a really interesting experience. It's been interesting. pretty wild. Very, very unpredictable. Yeah. yeah. We got, oh, particularly with the two little girls. We've got yeah. Hannah and uh, Nikita, who play Abby and Isla, yeah. who are both four year old kids. Oh playing four-year-old kids yep. and it's you know talk about entertainment <laughs> it's, yeah. it's they're living hard. in a world of their own they yeah. don't they are unaware of the cameras yeah. the director anything they'll just do yeah. what they want so you have which to work is, around them yeah kind of. which which yeah. can be gold you know it can mm. be absolutely brilliant if you just let kids do what they want you know, the, one of the worst things you can do as a writer is uh, any kid under the age of i don't know probably about seven years old don't give them dialogue yeah because they'll yeah. never do it the way that you yeah. you think it's going to come out in your head they're not going to do that and they're, they're you know child actors well, um, <laughs> but, but if you leave them alone and just let them ad lib and do what they want yeah. gold brilliant yeah, and absolutely. that's what they kind of do with it with uh, Hannah and and uh, Nikita yeah. particularly yeah. Hannah because she's oh, a little yeah. chatterbox and just yeah. really inquisitive <laughs> yeah. so you're just like well, you're gonna, like bring them back gorgeous. in He's a character, and, and such a juxtaposition with them too, isn't it? Yeah. Dream cameos that you were like, let's get this, try and get this person to, to come I'll put a long list in, but they're never going to come here. Who's your number one? Put it <laughs> out there into the universe. Well, Robert De Niro, Charlotte, oh, uh, yeah, Charlie yeah. Theron. Oh. Uh, I suppose better get a couple of newbies in there as well. Get, get yeah. Ryan Reynolds in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Tim? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it would be cool to have some kind of older classical actors, I think, coming through. Yeah, yeah so... I don't know. Yeah. Hey, I would be happy if Margot wants to make a little oh, appearance with Don. Oh, it's really yeah. old. Yeah. It make does. a little cameo. Exactly, she's right? Not Barbie. I mean, that would be incredible. <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Coming on set as Barbie. <laughs> I mean, amazing. Um, guys, 
like I said, super excited that you're back. Please don't go anywhere, Reggae. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>